In this video, I will demonstrate how to work with point groups in Microsurvey CAD. Um, so what working with point groups does is it will display groups of points created and saved in the drawing, and you can save, edit, or remove them. Um, there are a couple ways to do this, and the most common way is through the active uh, coordinate editor. So if we prompt that to open, and uh, let's say we want, for example, points 1 to 5 to be grouped. Um, so if we just highlight points uh, 1 to 5, and if we go to Tools, and if we go to Point Groups, um, then it brings up our Point Groups Manager. And here um, it displays the active drawing. Technology Coordinates uh, is the name. Um, those are points 1 to 5, as you can see in the string here. Um, you can, um, since there's an asterisk um, in front of the name, um, means it's not saved. Um, so if we want to save this, um, we can. We can just hit save. Uh, if you want to, if you want to remove it, you can remove it. Uh, if you want to give it a different name, uh, you can just hit edit. And I'm just going to give this a name for control points. And you can just leave the comment um, just so we know that where these are coming from. Uh, you can just hit OK. And now that we have um, a set of group, a uh, point group saved, uh, if I just close the um, active coordinate editor here and move this over, um, now that we have the point groups created, um, you can zoom to, and it'll zoom to the first corner. Um, you can pan to, or you can show, um, and then it generates and shows um, the points, the points group here. Um, and that is how you would create uh, point groups through the Active Coordinate Editor. Um, the other way is using the multi-point dialog. So if I click on the multi-point dialog here within the Point Groups Manager, um, this is the other way of how to create groups. Um, since we already have uh, point groups here, it from 1 to 5 from the Active Drawing technology, um, it already recognizes um, this group. Um, so if we want to remove and clear, we can do that, um, but I don't want to. Um, for selection method, you can do a CAD selection off the drawing. Um, you can enter in a point range, or you can do a point um, and a radius, and it'll grab all the points within that radius. I'm just going to do a CAD selection. And do we want to clear existing list first? We'll just say no. And I'll just grab points down here um, for this lot and if I hit enter um, you'll see that it has um, created a new point groups here with the points that we just selected and here you can do um, an analysis so you can include or exclude points um, we can compare points and you can create points so if we compare points um, let's do compare point from 5. Um, the highlighted point will be used as the base point, uh, which is what we want. So we're just going to say yes, um, and it'll generate um, an inverse using 5 um, as the base point to all of the points selected. So if we just hit yes, um, we can now see that it has generated um, a report here that you can print or copy and paste into a Word document here. And um, since point 0.5 was the base point, um, you can see that everything is based off of point 0.5 um, with inverses, including the horizontal distance and the bearing. And if I look at the um, model space here, you'll also see that it has generated um, traverse lines from point 0.5 to all the shots for you to review. And we just hit OK. Um, you can exit since we are done. And that is how you would work with uh, point groups in MicroSurvey CAD. Thanks for taking interest in this video.